some. Today, I will be doing a rant on the people who are against Nintendo having GBA games ported to the Wii U eShop. What the frick? I mean, seriously. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I mean, what's the matter? You wouldn't rather play Game Boy Advance games on the big screen? I mean, I can't believe so many people are complaining about this. I mean, I purchased Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga on April the 3rd, and I've had, I've been having quite the ball re-experiencing it, and I mean, I really don't get what's with all the complaints. And do you want to know, do you want to know where most of those complaints are even coming from? Well, I'll tell you. It's coming from the people who don't even own a Wii U. Get in with the times! I mean, come on, give Nintendo a break! It's the 8th generation of gaming and everyone should own a currently running console, as in a Wii U, 3DS, PS4, Xbox One, PlayStation Vita, or 3DS, which is possibly the best out of all those consoles. And then, yeah, the, the Xbox 360 and PS3 still have games being released for it. But, I mean, if it doesn't really count. I mean, both systems have been out ever since the seventh, seventh generation of gaming, so those don't count. I mean, I guess the I guess the 3DS and PS Vita were technically released in the seventh generation, but I mean, for the most part, they're eighth generation consoles. It's not rocket science, people. I mean, just get in with the times. I mean, seriously. And Game Boy Advance on Wii U, why are people complaining about this? Saying, oh, it should be on the 3DS. I mean, the 3DS is already better. I mean, it already has a better catalog of games. I mean, the Wii U, I mean, the Wii U really needs it. Okay? The Wii U really needs these games. I mean... Seriously, and I mean, what's not to like about playing Game Boy Advance games on the big screen? I mean, there was the Super Game Boy back then. What, you didn't like that add-on? What's the matter with you people? I mean, seriously, it seems like everything Nintendo does is a mistake in people's eyes. It's really stupid. Kind of like how, you know, I've encountered people who've been criticizing my Skylar Space Time series. I mean, there are people who just like it, I mean, dislike it just because, you know, they s dislike certain aspects of it, and that's okay. But the people who dislike, li dislike it just because I made it, what the frick? I mean, there really are people out there like that. I've encountered some of those people. I mean, I like the people who just dislike it because, you know, they actually dislike it. And then there are the people who just dislike it because I made it and are possibly even jealous because they can't come with anything original, so, oh, let's bash someone else who actually has original ideas, really. But back to Nintendo. Nintendo's a topic. I mean, what the frick? I mean, just give Nintendo a break, and if, if you really want to play Game Boy Advance games on a modern day console, then just buy on the Wii U and don't complain. I mean, it play Game Boy Advance games play well on the Wii U because I I know because I tried it. 
everything is a mistake. I mean, everything Nintendo does is a mistake in people's eyes nowadays. It's really, 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 really stupid. Hey, what the frick? <sighs> Sorry if it sort of sounds like I'm irritated, which I kind of am, but, I mean, it's the truth. Well, anyways... Well, I think that just about sums up this rant. I mean, if you don't have a Wii U already, and you see something that you like on the Wii U, then just get it! It's not even that expensive! It's $300 for a deluxe model. How is that not a bargain? Oh yeah, one more thing. So, um, here is Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga as it is on the Wii U. It runs really nicely on the Wii U. Don't see what people are complaining about. Um, but however, most of the people who have purchased its Wii U ports actually like it. It's mainly the people who haven't even purchased it on the Wii U that are bashing it. Um, well anyways, yeah, um, here it is. So, just in case you guys want to know what it looks like, this is how it appears on the Wii U gamepad. Um, and of course, it is a home console, so you can also see how it looks on, a t on the TV. But, I mean, for the people who want it portable, play on the gamepad is sort of like that, in a way. And, people who are fans of the Super Game Boy, well... You can you can just you can just play it on the TV and 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 I have to say this is actually a smart decision because the Wii U really needs this the Wii U really needs this kind of, I mean these kinds of games and I'm going to purchase Kirby and the Amazing Mirror because to be honest I've never played Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Um, and so I also want to purchase Metroid Fusion, and, um, let's see, oh yeah, uh, Super Mario Vance 3, Yoshi's Island, and then there's Super Mario Brothers 3, which is coming out on the eShops on April 17th. I'll definitely get that, I made a video about that back in September of 2013, for those of you who don't know. Or at least I believe it was September. Huh? My memory isn't always precise. But anyways, I think that's everything I'd like to discuss today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.